So how do we navigate through wins and losses in life and being able to still yet move forward? I'm going to give you three critical steps that you can use to be able to navigate through those waters. I'm Dr. J with Two Doc Minds. How do we navigate through wins and losses in our career is critical to our overall success. It's critical to you in your professional life and it's critical for you in your business life. You always wanna know how you navigate through the wins and the losses in life. And today we're gonna to give you three critical steps. So again, welcome to Two Doc Minds. Our first secret and our first tip to success, and I think it's the, one of the most important tips, and it's an embracing a growth mindset. So what does that mean? A growth mindset simply means that no matter if we're winning or we're losing, we're gonna use those experience to grow both professionally and personally. So what does that mean? And I'm just gonna use a basketball game for an example. I won a basketball game, right? Made the winning shot at the buzzer. Team did a great job. We're celebrating this win and this championship and it can't be any better, right? But we still can learn something in that win. So we go back and look at the tape. And when we look at the tape, we learn, oh, we could have played a little bit more defense. We could have made screens and cuts. Oh, we could have did better passing to our teammates. It would have made our win that much more sweet. So instead of winning at the buzzer, I made a one by 30, 40 points and blew out the other team. So there's opportunities to learn in those wins. When you're losing, right, because you play, you know, poorly, right? You understand that taste of defeat. You're really frustrated because you just learned, lost a championship. And in this example, right? That's something you worked for all your life and you learned. And so having that growth mindset is how do you then get back up after a loss? So you go back and look at the tape. What could we have done better? We could have been better on offense. We could have been better on defense. We could have had better conditioning so that we didn't get tired at the end of the game and lose. And by doing that, right, by looking at and making those assessments, I now know what I need to do to go forward. And I learn from that. That's the growth mindset. And everything that you do, there's ability to learn something and grow from it, right? And I do that every day in my life. You know, there's times that uh, the day goes well and I learn something. There are times that the days go bad and I learn something. But what it is, is I have that growth mindset and I'm continuously learning. So the growth mindset is the critical. And I think the most critical piece of that growth mindset is just continuing to grow, continuing to learn, continuing to improve. And if every single day in life you improve, you will see an abundance of wins, but you will see so much personal growth. And that's what it's about. Not only winning, but continuing to grow. So tip number one was really to understand the growth mindset. Tip number two, and it's something that we all know, but sometimes we forget and we're not mindful of, right? And that's how to be resilient. And we just talked about it in the basketball sense, right? As a championship game, we win, we're excited, things going good, we learn. If now it's a basketball game and we lost the championship, how do we grow? How do we learn? How do we get better? How do we become resilient? And that's where a lot of people falter, right? Things get hard. You lose a couple of things and you give up. You give up on applying for a job because you heard one no. Well, you're going to hear a lot of no's in life. The worst thing in life is you hear no. Well, dang it, you're doing pretty good. So you got to keep on trucking. You got to keep on getting better. You may lose a game. Well, I learned that I need to improve my fitness, improve my shot, improve my defense. An example that we gave earlier. Well, I'm gonna get in the gym during the summer and I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get faster. I'm gonna get more fit. So next year I can be even better so that I can contribute positive. But one thing I'm not gonna do is give up. I get fired from a job because it's just not a good fit. Doesn't mean that you're not good at what you're doing. It doesn't mean that you're not a great professional. It doesn't mean that no one else wants you. All it means is that opportunity wasn't for you. Dust yourself off, get back at it again and keep pushing and find the one that's right for you. But what it is, is being resilient, keep going, keep pushing forward so that you can get what you want. And that's what it, life is about. And everything you're doing is how you be 
resilient. Every day, people go through earthquakes. I was on the West Coast, East Coast, tornadoes, storms, right? Flooding, fires, all these natural disasters that torment people's lives, right? In California, they had wildfires. Thousands of people lost their homes. Recently in Hawaii, a lot of people lost their homes, their lives, you know, and a tragic thing. And our hearts and minds go out to all of you. But people are learning how to try to pick up those pieces and really move forward. They're not giving up. So if they're not giving up, you shouldn't either. So practice resiliency. Always look for the positive in something. Always think about the positives in, in a situation. Learn and grow. That's one of the things when we look at resilience, we're practicing things that keep us from getting too low. Like I practice stress management, right? And we, if you want me to do a video on stress management, I will. Let me know in the comment section. We'll do a more detailed video about stress management. But I do practice stress management. Meditation is, is critical. You know, the first 15 minutes of my day, I'm just reflecting, you know, really thinking about, you know, what I need to do to get through this day, what I need to do to be in a positive state of mind. So when people come around me, they want to be around me. They want to listen. They want to grow. We want to build a team. We want to build it towards success. And so how to do it in that positive state of mind and then you know journal you know I don't journal every day you know too much writing for me but every year at the beginning of the year I journal what I want in different buckets of my life whether that's financial whether that's my professional whether that's my personal kind of write down some goals and every month I reflect on that and again I adapt right but I look at that and you know I set those things and it helps me understanding where I need to go so as I have wins and losses in life right I know what the bigger goal is so being resilient and knowing the bigger goal. The third, and I think the most critical step in your journey is to understand how you set clear goals, both short and long term, and how you practice adaptability. How do you adapt and adjust? That's one of the things that I've seen in so, so much and throughout my career in life. People just can't adjust. I do it. You always hear that saying that, you know, I do this because... This is all I was taught how to do. This is all I got in me. No, you got a lot more. You know a lot more. You just have to tap into it. What you are is comfortable. You're comfortable in your routine. You're comfortable in the outcomes. You're comfortable in where you're at. And if you're there and you're just comfortable, cool, that works out. But don't be comfortable and you want something else different, right? They don't go hand in hand. Comfort and change doesn't go hand in hand. Those are exact opposite. If you want change, you're gonna to have to get uncomfortable, right? And that's what I believe. And so if you're ready to get uncomfortable, ready to adapt and ready to set clear goals, then you're gonna be where you want. So what do I mean by setting clear goals? Well, I wanted to get a doctorate degree. I knew that I wanted to do it in four years. And so I wrote that down and then life happened. I had a daughter during the time. We had some deaths in the family during that time. We had some setbacks with us in, in employment where we had jobs where we had to take on more responsibility, right? Had all these things in life that happened during it, but I showed up to class every day, no matter what, no matter how tired, no matter how frustrated, no matter what was going on in my, my professional life, no matter what was happening in my personal life, I showed. So I was able to be nine out of 10 people just doing that, just showing up, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat most of the people out just because I showed up every single day and not make one excuse because that was my goal is to show up every day. That was one of my goals, show up, just show up. You ain't gonna flunk out of a class if you show up every day, right? And, and try your best to do the work and that was the mindset. And then, you know, when things didn't go my way, I had to adjust my class load, my course load. One semester I had to take one courses and the other one I had to take three, which was a lot. But I had to make adjustments because of where I was in life. But one of the things I was willing to do is make the adjustments and I finally got through it, right? Whatever that is for you, you wanna set those goals, you want to set that expectation. And two, you want to be, as you go through that journal journey, life will happen and adjust. And if you do that, you're going to do very well as you mitigate the wins and losses because the wins and losses in life, they're going to come, right? There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. That's just the nature of life. Don't get too high. Make sure you don't get too low and make sure that you keep a growth mindset. You stay resilient. You set goals and you adapt. And if you do that, I promise you, you'll be where you want. You will have the things that you want to have. You'll be in places you want to be. And so I want you to keep on learning. I want you to keep on growing. And I want you to keep on looking at Two Doc Minds Podcast 
because we're gonna give you a lot of content like that and like this. So I want you to like, I want you to make some comments, I want you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when our new content coming out. And I want you to keep on listening to Do Doc Minds. I'm Dr. J and thank you for joining us today.